Hi, Wason team. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Ndibuti. And here is the latest episode of a Skeleton in My Closet. So, this is what the writer said. Hello, girl. How you doing, girl? In my head, you and I, yes, you, Ndibuti, are the best of friends and have been for years. Well, I need advice from you and Wason team. I have been with my man for about three years. When we initially started dating, I didn't want anything serious because I had just come out of a very toxic and abusive relationship three years before meeting this man. But he was so good to me and my kids that I opened my heart and he's been my rock since. Now, I guess the problem was that when we started dating, I told him that I did not want to have sex for at least a month. We went on dates and it was fun getting to know him. When we got to the topics of how we left our previous relationships and his reason was that his then wife said his baby was too small for her and would insult him daily because of it, though they had two kids already. I honestly didn't believe him because what man will tell a potential partner that he got dumped because of the size of his ding ding. He said he was telling me so I walk away before I get into too deep. I found this sexy and now I wanted to take the D for a ride, but we didn't do the dance until three months later. One weekend, he decided to take me to a vacation in Hartis while his sister took care of my kids and his kids. We had slept in the same bed without having sex before, so he assured me that we wouldn't have sex till I was ready. On our first night there, things got steamy and hot. We had our own private jacuzzi and did a lot of smooching. I became so horny from kissing and we ended up with clothes off and he gave me the best oral sex. I did the same for him. I wanted the real thing so badly, but I held back. In the moment, I could see it from his undies, but not for one moment did I think to look at the size. Went to breakfast the following morning, and after breakfast, we continued where we left off last night. But this time, we couldn't hold ourselves, so we went all the way. And let me just say, he knew how to use this D, and I was fully satisfied. Maybe the foreplay helped, but his ding-dong was amazing. We did it a couple more times before leaving the hotel. Now, his ding-dong is not too, too small that you can't work with it. And it helps that the owner knows how to make it work as it should. Since that weekend, we have been all over each other. And oh, he is such a good lover. He's the best dad to my kids and his kids. Luckily, we don't have baby mama drama. His ex is a good person. I guess they were just not good for each other. And my kid's dad wants nothing to do with them. Ndivo. Now, my ex was one of those guys with the biggest D in the group, and he made sure people knew it was big, but he was the creepiest partner ever, and the only reason I stayed so long, though he was abusive, was because he was amazing in bed and for my kids. And I'm mentioning him because he came up in a conversation I was having with my current ex-wife because it turned out that they are work colleagues. And she mentioned how I could leave such a big D for someone who's three sizes smaller. My man is always asking me if I'm satisfied by him sexually. We have introduced toys to our relationship. And honestly, he's done everything to make sure I'm not sexually deprived. My issue is that every now and then, I want it to go deeper. I want him to go deeper. He does with a dildo, but I want the real deal. There is nothing as exhilarating as the feeling of the ding-dong way deep inside you. And I miss that. And in the past year, I've missed it more than usual. Now, his ding-dong is thick but kind of short. So I went and bought myself a vibrating dildo that is as thick as his D, but just longer than his D. And oh my God, it does the things. I obviously fantasize about him during this time when I'm helping myself, but wow, it has helped us more because I think I was starting to feel the lag in the ding dong because he couldn't go deep. 
Problem is, I have not told him about it. I feel like it will kill his confidence. He's a very confident man, but I feel seeing this dildo will kill him. I'm just worried and what he will do or feel if he found out. And now we have moved in together because he asked me to marry him. But I can't help but wonder, is this truly the life I want to have forever? I love, love, love sex. It's important to me. And he satisfies me, but he doesn't always go to the spot when I need him to, which is not every day. The guy has tried everything in his power to make sure my sexual needs are met. And he has asked me to speak up when he lacks some way. And I have, but now I feel like it will be asking too much from him. Maybe I sound like the most greedy hun in the world, but I don't want to get into marriage with sexual doubts, then find myself cheating. Like I said, the guy is every girl's dream in terms of personality. He's great at everything in our relationship except for parts of our sex life. I'm writing this because I see now I'm too close to cheating because I find myself staring at people's peepees in the street and fantasizing about them. This one time I went out to a club with my friends and met a colleague that had been wanting me since I was with my ex, but I never gave him a chance because we are colleagues. But when we met at the club, he came to sit next to us. My friend got up to go dance with a man and I was left with this guy. Yena is just like my ex. He loves putting his D in such a way that all the girls see it and want it and all the men get jealous. While we were chatting and I was telling him that I'm getting married, he asked if the guy I'm with was satisfying all my sexual needs and fantasies. I don't know why, but I hesitated and then said yes, and I guess he figured it out that I was lying. He took my hand from under the table and put it right on his huge long ding dong. He removed his, and in that moment, I should have removed my hand too, but I was shocked by the size. It was way bigger than I thought, and I was instantly dripping wet down there. I swear if we were at the office or somewhere private, I would have gave in, but I came to my senses and took my bag and hid at home. Got home and took out all the frustration of missing out on that ding-dong on him by having sex with him while imagining his D was that guy's D. Ndibu. The next Monday, I went to work and I see I was trying to make sure he doesn't see me. I stayed in my office the whole day. I'm always the last one to leave work on Mondays and everyone knows that. While I was bending looking for some files, I felt him come behind me and I jumped up and turned around. But when I turned around, he grabbed me and pushed me against his ding dong. Next thing, we were kissing. We came so close to having sex in my office, but thanks to the lady who cleans, we stopped because she knocked and asked if I was around. I've been avoiding the guy since then. Almost everyone at the office has fucked him. It's an open secret, so I know there is no future there, but I also don't want to cheat on my man more than I have. He's an amazing partner, and he treats me like I'm the only woman in the world. How do I keep my relationship even though I have some sexual needs that aren't met? Am I even that stupid to want to break up with the best man I've ever met because he lacks 5% in our sex life? What is wrong with me? Why am I like this? I asked God for this exact man, but I guess I forgot to ask him that his goodness and God-fearing nature comes with a big ding-dong. I know some of y'all must hate me right now. I sound so ungrateful and selfish. What should I do? Really? Is it really possible to be with one partner who doesn't meet all your sexual needs, but still be happy and not cheat? My heart is good and taken care of. It's just my vagina that is not happy. Send help right away. Please, Basundi. And Basundi, that's it for now. Do leave your comments down below. I love you.